Hey besties, so today we're gonna be engraving a stainless steel ring with the WeCreate laser. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the rotary attachment because we're gonna be doing a, a stainless steel ring today. So when you get your machine, you're gonna have these longer screws and these two screw holes right here, okay? So I removed them. You're then gonna place this little pointed nodule inside of that middle slot okay and then you're gonna take the screws and you're gonna add them in on the sides so this is the fancy little flat circle screwdriver that you get with the machine all right so that's tight now as far as these these automatically come on there but they are placed a little closer at these closer holes, okay? So I'm gonna remove those right now. And then you're gonna plug this into the back of the machine. So there's a little nodule that's gonna basically allow it to fit in place. And then you're gonna take your screws. Since I'm doing a ring, I'm gonna be using these screws. So everything's set up here for engraving the ring. However, there is a little dial there that will allow you to expand so that you can use this for bracelets or even tumblers. You can stick those screws on the furthest hole and that will allow you to use it for bigger items. So anytime you're going to use a circle object for the rotary, you're going to want to measure the parameter and you're going to add it into the machine. So I'll show you that in a second. So it looks like it's about 2.85. Okay. And I'm gonna place it on there. You see how it is a bit loose on there? You're just gonna take your dial and you're going to adjust until, there you go, see how it kind of stops? So now it's stuck on there, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna walk through a few of the steps. Anytime you're gonna use the rotary option, you're gonna use this laser cylindrical option. And this is where you're gonna put in your measurements that I just showed. So I'm gonna put that in. And then this is gonna give you your working area. If you're gonna use a design that will wrap completely around the ring then you're going to add your text in from this to this side okay so i am going to go ahead and do my text I'm gonna place my lock on and I'm gonna change this to, let's say 2.5. Okay, you do want it to be pretty close to the top. I know it looks like it shouldn't be, but you do want it to be really, really at that non-working line. Okay. And then I'm going to change this to black. I'm going to change it to a fill and gray. Okay. I'm going to do two passes. 
and then I'm going to change my tone on here to this one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my machine and plug it into my computer. Now that I have everything set up, I'm going to go ahead and press start. So it's going to take a minute and 57 seconds. So I'm gonna go through doing one more, but I'm gonna do it with a different tone. So we're gonna go through it pretty fast just so we can see how it comes out. So you could definitely tell that the tone is a little bit blue and lighter. I'm gonna try out some other stainless steel items, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.